push button go and hello vlog time I think right I was, I was at work today and uh, I was sitting there I think I might do a vlog tonight and um, I thought I don't know what I'll do so I got the laptop out and I was structuring how I was going to do my vlogs so I came up with titles and, and various sections and, and how I'd approach it and did I, I should have saved it to my OneDrive. I'm sure that it should have got saved. Um, it's got to be here somewhere. Drop top. No, no, no. OneDrive. Is it in there? ESEG. Blog files. No, it's not in there. Uh, that would be too easy. Um, key plumes. Blog notes. Yeah, here we go. So. I've kind of like got the, uh, what have I been vaping, what's coming up, tinkering section, what's new in the market, rants and rambles, and we're just going to close that down, because I can't be honest, the, the day I get a structure going is just, nah, it's not me, it's not who I am, um, but you know, kudos to all those people that have a routine and a structure for doing their vlogs and things like that it's to be commended my brain just isn't wired that way speaking of brains wired before i get going right this thing the vt box 200 right i was reading today today of all places on i was i haven't been in the vapor lounge the vapor lounge sorry that was just a shameless plug for the company i work for uh um UK vapors and uh, I go in for a, a little nosy every once in a while and I was reading uh, I can't search because I'm not a can I search there was it VT VT box 200 maybe maybe will it work I don't know waiting Anyway, um, I'm sure it'll find it. Right. You all know about the fact that when this first version that got sent out was pretty much shit because of the 510. The 510 was glued in place. Now, I, my 510 did come off the same as everybody else's that got the first one. Um, and I took a little Dremel and cleaned the anodizing off and got some JB Weld and welded that 510 thing back in place. That's cool. No problem with that at all. Now, when my one arrived, the battery was flat. It was seriously discharged, uh, which is, is not good. It's bad as far as LiPo's go. Um, and there's several other people that have got the same issue. Uh, now, the other thing I was reading on... Um, UK vapors, and I'll, you know, I'll mention the guys that have have said it and whatnot. I'm sure it was. I'm positive it was here. Um, basically, they were going about how uh, the wiring that's recommended by Evolve is actually. Oh, there we go. It's it's uh, by Cruise. It was a post by Cruise. Um, Evolve recommend using 14 gauge wire, but Vapy Sig or whoever it is have used 18 gauge. Apparently, this might be too thin to handle the current and could lead to the chip getting fried. The connector on the lipo pack is a male Deans. Apparently, it should be female. Using a male connector can supposedly cause a short circuit. The 510 is glued on. Um, and the fact that the people have been receiving lipos that are critically discharged can also be dangerous. Um, so there, based on that information, and I'm not just, you know, yeah, if you got one of the early ones and you're, you're getting, I mean, there's supposedly a revised version being sent out. I'm supposed to be getting a revised version, uh, but I am, um, I'm, Basically, I don't want anything to do with this anymore because, you know, as far as wiring goes and things like that, it's not my forte. It's, it's not my area of, if I had an expertise, it's not one of them. Um, and just reading some of that and the other information that's on UK Vapors, 
Um, it's terrifying that a company is putting these things out. In saying that, in saying that, since I've glued that connector on, I've not had one issue with it. I've used this a lot since it arrived, and I've not had one issue with it. That, but that's just my experiences. Um, the lipo battery that is in it is 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 basically I would say it's shit uh, because I get and it's probably because it was heavily discharged when it arrived with me. Uh, there's there's hardly any life in it at all. Um, so that's the the VT box two hundred. And I know there's a people on POTV, Planet of the Vapes forum, that um, they did a group buy, and there's a lot of them had hassles with it, and they're trying to send it back and get them changed for newer ones or all that kind of stuff. So that was something. that I wrote that down. That was in my notes at some point. Am I even recording? I am recording. Um, so there was one thing that I was going to mention. What else was I going to mention? I'm still using this. Um, and now I can't get it off the window. Sorry, I cannot get it off the window. I shouldn't say canny. Ah, feck it. Um, the, the easy dripper. Um, I still use this. I love it. I do. I absolutely love it. The easy dripper. No, I'm not in commission. I know I didn't get it from the company for review. Um, do you know the squish squish for your drippers when you're driving? It works. They did get in contact with me and ask me if I wanted to review it, but I said already. <laughs> what did I do wrong there? I put it in upside down, didn't I? I must have put it in upside down. See, it's, but it's not foolproof. Here we go. That's it. She's in there. Um, yes. Don't I look a tit more than normal. Um just arrived today, just arrived today, this is The Wave by Atmizu, a company I love, I really like Atmizu, um, they have designed and released to testers a really complicated Kato tank in a Kato tank, a catomizer, rebuildable catomizer in a Kato tank. That's what it is. I can't, I, I really, I, I want to sit here and say, this is awesome. I've just built it, and the only thing, th what's going through my head is that I am rebuild. I am building a catomizer here to put in a Kato tank. That is what it is for all intensive purposes. Flavor's not half past it. No, 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 Flavor is not too bad on it. Jesus, what? Um, I'm losing it. Um, and it's... I, I, I watched their video and, you know, on how to set it up and whatnot. And... I, I watched it work, took it to bits uh, tonight, got home, built it. It's pretty... It's pretty straightforward, to be brutally honest. Um, and it works. And I think it's going to be about 50 quid. Um, somebody else, oh Christ, who was it? Somebody was talking to me. Um, where did you go? Where did you go? Tom. Um, Thomas Buckley. Uh, Tom. Um, I was talking to him and he was... Uh, <laughs> He says, he's not going to divulge just how much faffing and time it's taken him to build it. <laughs> I did it in 10 minutes. and No, I didn't. I did it slightly. took slightly longer than 10 minutes. But I'm at 15 watts and a 1 ohm coil. And it is vaping, but it's, it's, it's just... That's it there. There we go. I will. I'm, 
next vlog I do I'll discuss it more because it's it's really it is just uh, I've just been titting about with it tonight so it, it's unfair to cast a judgment on it at this point in time um casting judgments on things right let's cast judgments on something um uh, the Wutufu or Watufu or what the fuck um Freak Show Mini Tiny the Freak Show Tiny Right um Single eighteen three fifty battery goes in there. Uh some batteries the battery cap doesn't screw all the way on. Um an 18650 battery it takes. Some of the batteries I've used, uh, the, the cap sits out a bit proud here. Uh, it's got a rubberized finish going on these panels here. Um, it's got, now I never go on about rattly buttons much because I don't think that you should be playing the maracas with your mods, but if I did go and join a band that was composed of people with rattly button mods, I would take this and I would be the That you know, I, I would be a star performer because these are rattly as hell. And it's these two wee guys here. Um, 60 watt temperature control, um, 510 is not the best, as it, but you, you have to screw it down and up and down, um, and it doesn't go down really far. Um, it's not the best in that respect. Uh, I, 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 you know, most of my stuff, I'd say about 90% of my stuff sits without gaps, but uh, the other 10%, mm, um, the buttons, uh, when it works, is really good. <laughs> um, I would say about 20% of the time, I go to push the button to take a draw and uh, or fire it, and it doesn't work. Um, also, it goes to sleep after 15, 10, 15 minutes. And I'm I'm just I don't know I really wanna like it. Uh, it's for about sixty-five quid I think it's gonna cost in the UK. Um and you know I hooked it up to my box of tricks on a 0 0.5 ohm build. It does put out the power that it says it's putting out. So it does put out the full sixty watts. It does do that. Um, and yeah, that, that's the setup there. It's the the buttons. They almost did it. They almost did it. They almost nailed it. They almost did, the, but they, they really did. The, the, they buggered up with that 510 not being adjustable enough, the rattly buttons, and I don't know what it is, but that, that chipset is just... Ah, there's something that just isn't right with it. I don't know what it is. Um, tell you what I do like about it, though. Uh, if I just put a temp sensing coil on here, if I say yes... That's another thing that annoys me. Now it's got new coil, yes, no. Now you've got yes is at the bottom and no is at the top. However, that doesn't correspond with the buttons there. Yes is the plus up the top and no is down the bottom. So that's reading wrong. Um, to me it is, yes. Now it's asked me to unlock it. Right, here we go. It automatically picks up its attempt sensing coil, uh, which I really like about it. That's that's really smart, and it, it does seem to work. Uh, the only thing I don't like is it's, it's one of these ones where um, you put it in temperature control mode and you can't adjust the wattage. You can only adjust the temperature, um, which and, and and I might be totally wrong here. Um, you know, if I put it to 420 Fahrenheit, because that, that's where cotton tends to burn. So it gets up to that temperature. I don't know if it chucks all the power at it until it gets to 420. And then throttles back. 
but I wanted to be able to adjust the wattage as well. I don't know. To me, it's, it, it does seem to perform. I know uh, the Dean, the Dean, the vaping biker. <laughs> um, I love the noises Dean makes when he's doing his videos. Um, what did he say here again? Yes, I think he was having firing issues with it as well. Um, he thought the temp sensor on the board was fault. I think he mentioned it in his vlog, which I haven't watched yet. The temperature was sticking around 575600. I don't know. Temp sensor works for me, uh, but then I only put the temperature to the, the burning point of the, the material. I don't put it any higher than that, because then that defeats the point of having temp sensing, does it not? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Anyway, that's that. Um, that was the Freak Show Tiny. What else? God, I'm in the right roll here, eh? I'm bleeding. Uh, 16 minutes already. <gasps> right. I also got... I'm so happy. So happy. This is the Foggin Sailor. All the way from Norway. Uh, now, I saw this. I've posted photos of this on Facebook and whatnot. And I saw this picture of that engraved there. And I have to have this. So I got in contact with the guy. Um, and he built one for me. I bought it. And uh, he sent it to me. And I couldn't be happier. Uh, also, he put in the back. So that's uh, the Fog and Sailor, TFS is the Fog and Sailor, 15 is the year of manufacturer, which I finally guessed, well I didn't guess, I had to ask what that meant. And for the old Sea Dog, Mark Todd, number 35. <laughs> I didn't know he was putting that on it. Uh, I was really chuffed, um, really chuffed. Now, this is a dual 18650 350 Jai. And the internals are very, very tidy. Very tidy. Um, and the thing about this is, it's 3D printed. That is 3D printed. You know, he's, he's hand engraved all that himself, you know. That's why it's got that kind of rough look to it. But, but that's 3D printed. Now, he also sent me a mechanical. He does a dual 18650 um, MOSFET. I put my uh, my tattoo on the back of it. Now, that that is 3D printed. You look at it and you think, that's an old lump of wood. Uh, it's got the, the look, the appearance, everything of an old lump of wood. And it's, it, it's, it's, it's just amazing. Um, I'll, I'll cover this. I'm going to do the, a review on it. But uh, basically, you've got, this is the Blunderbuss. Um, 150 watt, dual 18650. Um, and this is the, the Powder Monkey. Um, this is 110 pounds. And this is 190 pounds. Uh, Materials used are plastic. However, some parts have recycled wood or straw mixed in with the resin, I think it is, when he's doing the, the 3D printing. Um, I, I, admittedly, I bought this for myself. I didn't buy this to go and do a review with it. I bought this because this is my kind of stuff. This is the kind of shit that I like. Um, and it works really well. But it just, I, I, I'm using a webcam, so this just really isn't going to show it off properly. 
but look, but look at the f that. That, that that is 3D printed. Uh, the only thing I'm not a fan of maybe on this is the, the fire button because when I use it I have to use this finger now. Um, I'll show you inside it if I can remember how to get into it. So that side. There we go. Um, very very clean and tidy inside. Very clean and tidy. So that is the Fog and Sailor. Go and look for them on YouTube on uh, Facebook. Fog and Sailor. Um, F O G G I N Sailor. You'll find the group. Uh, so th that's my toys. I'll do a review. I will do a review and show it to you because I really want to because I think they're gorgeous. Um, now, what else? Uh, I'll show you these. Now, I don't do just reviews. I don't. Uh, but um, there is, uh, I, I vape it a lot, uh, Strawberry Fields uh, E-Liquid. E, e Strawberry Fields E-Liquid by Simon. Um, and he sent me on yogurt. He's doing these yogurt flavours. Strawberry treat, blueberry treat, and peachy treat. Now, there's one thing that I have to say, and this is, it just has to be said. These smell like old feet. Old, unwashed feet. Um, that is the conclusion I've come to about yogurt flavours. However, I shall, I think I shall change it and we shall have a VP. Uh, let's have a vape. Uh, actually, before we have a vape, let's talk drip tips. Now, drip tips. I've shown you this already. I think, did I show you this in a vlog already? Now, ah, see, I've got autofocus switched off. Ah, there we go. Right. I switched it on. Come on, focus your bam pot. Oh, this is like going back to doing my reviews when I first started. <sighs> that drip tip. Uh, company called Evil, E-V-E-L, drip tips. Uh, they sent me on a couple of drip tips, which I've posted a lot of photos of on Facebook and uh, Instagram. And the Uber Toot one is absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. But the, the one I really wanted to talk about was... Um, and I need to bring this up because... If I don't get this right, then I'll just get grief from the guy that makes it because he's a miserable Scottish git. Um, Cyan Mods. Cyan Mods. I've reviewed... I, I've, I've shown you Cyan Mods gear since since I started uh, doing reviews. Um, that has been... Yeah. Back to when he did the mods. Uh, he was involved in the Cobra. Uh, his drip tips, uh, for, you know, the lot. I've done them all. Uh, now, oh God, I just, I wish I could, if I hadn't been so lazy. Um, look at that. How beautiful is that? Um, and now, I'm on the Facebook group and I'm trying to find it. Now, why he didn't pin it? Why didn't he pin it? Because he's a knob. That's why. Um, Graham, if you watch this, you're a knob. You know you're a knob. Uh, <laughs> it, these drip tips are made from uh, blanks. The blanks that he gets. Uh, they used to use them for making pens. But they're from France, 1930s, the blanks come from. They're really old, these blanks. And that's what he's made them, these drip tips from. And I can't find it. Uh, and I can't be arse scrolling anymore. It's so tough. Anyway, Siam Mods Handmade Tips. Search Facebook and you'll find them. Um, I, th I think... <sighs> can't believe I'm going to say this. 
Graham's a really talented guy. Oh, God, that hurt. Um, he is. He's a talented guy. And he does good shit. He really does. So, there you go. Um, and that's what I was going to do. I was going to vape some custard, wasn't I? Is this still recording? Have I been talking to myself for the past half hour already? I probably have. No, it's still recording. Uh, I need a dripper. What have we got? I'll put the, the support, the support, support, support. Um, yes, it's a new coil. You see? Look at that. Butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, would it? You want out? Toast the tea. You want out? There <laughs> you go. Um, can't use that one. That'll just. I'm just fogging the place up now. Um, right. What else will I talk about? Whilst I. I put some blueberry treat on my coil here. Oh, it smells disgusting. It really does smell disgusting. It does taste nice. It's just not my kind of taste nice. It's just I find it too uh, uh, cloying. Cloying? Is that the word I'm looking for? On the throat, it's, it's like thick. Um, it just feels that way to me. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Um, I know some people go apeshit for this yogurt stuff, but it, it's just not sitting well with me at all. But thank you, Simon. I really appreciate you sending it on, mate. And there were some folk came in at the shop and tried it, and they loved it. Um, now, if I had notes, if I was using notes, I would know what I was going to talk about next. There we go. Um, I don't know what that means. Can you want to translate? It's for your DT at I don't know what that means. Um, if you're going to comment on uh, somebody's Facebook page, uh, try commenting in the language that is posted in. Cool. Um, now, do I go diving off into one here or not? Right, what have I got coming up? Um... I've got the Vapor Shark DNA 200 coming. I know that much. And I uh, Wasp, 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 um, Calendar. Now, I was going to, <laughs> I'm supposed to be ruin, reviewing the Fog and Sailor this weekend. Uh, I might move that out just so I can get a little bit more time playing with it. We're supposed to be doing the Expromiser V2. That's not materialised yet, and who knows? Uh, can, I won't tell you about that. Uh, Nature Vape are going to be sending me on their... Oh, what's the name of the box? It's a Jewel 18650 350 Dry. Uh, Nature Vape. Nature Vape, Nature Vape, Nature Vape. Coils, accessories, chargers, box mods. Uh, no. No, that's not it. Um, come on, it's got to be accessories, quality, like clear out e side kit. Is it e side? It can't be e side kits. No, it's not under e side kits. Fuck off, wasp. Excuse my language. Sorry. Um, I was swearing at the wasp. Nobody else. <laughs> um, I can't remember. I can't remember what it was called. Um, I'm really sorry. I've also got something coming from Eric. 
Uh, Eric in the States is sending me a, a little, uh, it's a vape stand. Um, it's called the Vape Lamp. It's made a really nice little thing. He's on uh, YouTube under some name. E Jab S Mods Stands. When I show you it properly, I'll put a link to it and all that. But th that should be here soon. Also, um, I've got another stand coming from a talented guy, uh, Dean, the Vaping Biker. Um, he got one made for him, so I saw something shiny, so I, I asked the guy if I could get one as well. I'll show you that properly when it arrives. Um, the other stuff that was going on, I'm waiting on an e-pipe from Harlequin Woodworks, uh, Vape Geek. I've got the, the attack with the H cigar, DNA 40 coming as well. Uh, Gale Force Vapes, they're sending something on as well. Don't know what. And I think that's it. I've been turning down a lot of reviews because. Just turning down reviews for stuff that. Uh, it's very similar to stuff that's been out already um, and it just doesn't float my boat and doesn't interest me so yeah it, it might uh, a lot of people might tune out because they're not seeing stuff that they normally see from me but hey ho that's the way it goes uh, I'm also uh, I've got something coming from uh, Toby now, Toby, what did I do with your email, mate? I vapor elixir. Is that right? I can never remember now. Um, I vapor. Or is it just ivapor.com? .co.uk now. I can never remember what. You always had the two sites. Right, the I vapor elixir. That's it. What tank is this he's going to send on? It's called the Astral. Uh, it asked me if I wanted to have a look at it because it kind of appealed to me because it's it comes with one ohm coils and and it's not a it's more a mouth mouth to lung. It's not a, a lung buster. And I've said this before. Not everybody wants you know bloody sub ohm tanks, clouds, and you know <gasps> that kind of stuff. You know and. He asked me if I wanted to, to review it. I said yes because I really do think there's a huge market out there for people that still want stuff like that. Firm believer in that. Um, and working in a vape shop all day, I, I think I've got a better idea than some people on, on what the general public come looking for. Um, and I don't believe that sub -ohm tanks are what the majority of the general public really want. I mean, sell more mini Nautilus tanks than you do sub -ohm tanks. Easy. Uh, sell them all day long uh, with 20 watt eye sticks. Um, I go on about this a lot, and, and I know I sound like a broken record, but, you know, uh, people like me that sit there going, oh, I love my special mods, uh, and my Uber toot, and, and all this kind of stuff, uh, or people that, you know, sub home your tits off, and all this kind of stuff, um, we are just, you know, tiny little percentages of the, the, the vaping market, you know, the vaping market is... Egos, CE5s, EVODs, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's where the bulk of it is. Um, and I'm going off in one. Um, another thing, here you go. If you go into a vape shop, make sure you get to taste the juice before you buy it. There you go. Don't spend a fortune on juice. Yeah, it's not three years ago. It's not there uh, where you can just buy your juice online. Um, 
support your local brick and mortar store, go in, taste the juice, buy it. Um, you don't have to keep buying stuff off the internet that you're going to fall out. You know, when I started vaping, you had to keep buying loads of stuff online because there was nowhere you could go to try it. You know, but get to vape meets, get to brick and mortar stores and stuff like that. Try out the liquid first. Um, where did he go? That's Willie the Wasp. He's done a runner. Uh, anyway, I was going to go off on a big rant there, um, but I won't. Because I'm not that kind of guy. Um, right, what else have I been watching? What have I been watching? Uh, I'm, I just, I've not been watching a lot. I just, not been watching a lot at all. Um, the the Vortis, um, now I put the Vortis and the Vapor Shark flask uh, up for a charity auction and the proceeds from that went to Ouch. It's an organisation in the UK for, you know, promoting understanding of uh, cluster headaches. Um, now, I still maintain that the, the Vortex is an awesome dripper. I, I really do like it. I really do like it. Um, now, doing the tutorials on the, the rewrapping batteries and uh, building a standard gel coil, loved doing. Absolutely loved doing that. I, I was... I haven't enjoyed doing videos as much as that and I don't know how long. And there'll be a lot more of that to come. Because that's what I enjoy doing. So, sorry, if you don't enjoy that... Uh, <sighs> There you go. Um, the PVA40 by Pegasus Vapor Academy. Strangely enough, he never got in touch with me and called me all the numpties under the sun. But there you go. I was just... It's the truth. You know, it's an old device. It was an old version of a DNA40. It just... Nah. Um, however, insane that. Insane that. Limelight mechanic box. This weighs a, this weighs probably just as much as the PVA forty did. Uh, okay, it's a different. This is high end laddie da stuff, uh, and I didn't have it. I'm sure it hasn't got the latest version of the DNA forty in it, and. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, on a side note, they've got new covers out. Uh, there's new covers out. Go to the Limelight site. Um, and he also posted a photo up of the new stuff they're going to be doing. This is my pride and joy. This is one of my pride and joys. Uh, I absolutely adore this thing. It's not... I do take it out and about with me sometimes. It's almost got like a touch sensor button on it. Um, it's so light to touch. There's so many things that I shouldn't like about this, but it's just dreamy, dreamy. Um, that's that. There was something else. Oh, I was going to tell you what I've been watching. Um, subscriptions. Uh, oh, Mr. Basado has got the vapor, sh the vapor sharp. Vapor Flask Show and Tell up. Um, I watched some of Grimm's vlog. Um, what else have I been watching? I haven't, ma I haven't seen any of the uh, Suck My Mods videos. Um, I think that just haven't had time. Um, what have I <laughs> Vaping with Twisted 420. Why I Vape Story. They should have renamed that to 3 Minutes and four seconds of Twisted 420 not swearing. That's what they should have called that video. <laughs> I've never I've never heard them speak for that long without swearing. Crazy. Um, Polly Meatballs. Uh, I was going to watch that later on. I, I, God, I haven't... Do you know, I really haven't... So many videos I haven't watched. Uh, the Tug Life box... We're getting them in at work. 
Um, I still can't believe the price of them for it's just a MOSFET box. But anyway, there you go. Um, well, blah. My God, there's so many reviews that I have not watched. That's quite embarrassing. I've been out the loop. Um, what I'll do is I'll put Mr. Bizarro on because he's like... Do you know, I, I, I have to I, I stick his reviews on in the background and I get on with coiling and stuff like that and muck about in the shed and he's just he's like a, a cosy blanket playing just... You know, I don't necessarily watch it, but his voice in the background just has a soothing... Of, it's like listening to classical music when Mr. B's playing in the background. It's awesome. Um, did I show you this? Did I, did I show you this? This is my um, Bell Vape tank for the Kanger sub-tank. Um, and just to, you know... Uh, because apparently this pisses some folk off. You're not allowed to do this some places. Uh, let's have a look here. Ah, I need a battery now. I'm going around in circles. I was reading about this on a group that was talking about another group. And I was saying that you're not allowed to <laughs> post pictures of high-end mods or whatever the hell you want to call them uh, with a sub tank or sub own tanks on top. Seriously, who gives a shit? You know, if I want to vape a sub tank on top of a device that is mine, I'll do it. You can't, you can't dictate to people what they should and shouldn't vape on top of something. That's just bloody silly. Peachy fields. That's for that. Mmm. Peachy fields. Strawberry fields. That's their juice. Uh, speaking of juice, that's what I have been vaping. Uh, Chaz, again, uh, at work. They ran out of um, cream tea in six milligram. <gasps> horror of horrors. Um, Milkman, 30 ml bottle of Milkman with a 10 ml bottle of 12 milligram cream tea chucked in together. 3 milligram and 12 milligram. Yeah, it's 3 milligram um, Milkman. It's awesome. It's really good. <laughs> I love it. Um, I've been vaping that a lot. My God, what a mess this has just turned into. Right, quick, back on track. Uh, so, watching stuff. I haven't been watching stuff. I haven't. No, I'm not going to do that. Will I? No, I won't. I will. Go on. Just, I never do this no, bit. I like going for a sneaky peek at Rip. See what he's been posting videos of. Can't watch them. I just like going for a sneaky peek. I usually turn the volume off. I know he's got a huge fan base. And I shouldn't talk about other reviewers. And I won't talk about them badly. Because I... If you go to his videos and sort them by date. And look at his first ones. I used to watch his reviews all the time. I liked them. I don't now. But... Hey -ho. you know, he's got 465,000 subscribers. <laughs> I've, I've got two. Um, right, I think that is it. I think that is it. I really do think that is it. I'll, I'll check my notes. Uh, no, I won't check my notes. And I've got to change my, my wallpaper because I'm getting really sick fed up looking at the plumes of hazard guys. This is just really freaky. They're just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see the picture? Um, um, I'll find it and I'll post a picture now. Awesome or what? <laughs> I look like I'm... 
<laughs> I tell you, I hope Grim had his trousers pulled up because I'm look like I'm not having a good time there or having too good a time there. Um, anyway, uh, guys, that uh, I'm going to bugger off now because I think I'm just posting for this. I'm just talking for the sake of talking shite now. Uh, oh, I tell you, I was talking to um, Steam Monkey uh, Lance. And his uh, new, uh, it's oh, it's Steam Monkey and Grizzly Vapes. Uh, but, but Lance has got a couple of new mods that he's mucking about with. He's going to be sending me one on to play with. Um, so I look forward to that. Uh, yeah, now I now I'm just blathering for blather mistake. Um, guys, thank you. As always, uh, you're probably watching this on a Friday or the weekend, which I hope you're having a good one off. Um, and I shall catch you soon. Yeah. Right, we've got a button on the screen this time. My God, I'm just missing a medallion here or something. That would be so cool. Bye.